Have you ever had that situation in your class where somebody is constantly asking to redo the demos? Or maybe asking, what was that command? How did you do that? I wondered what could be the possible reason for that. One possible reason is that they are limited to a very small confined screen space and probably our mouse movements are so fast we are using keyboard shortcuts sometimes and people you know can't keep up the pace. They can't follow what we are doing. So won't it be great if there was any utility or an app that could amplify our keyboard actions or mouse clicks so that they can see it visually on the screen itself. Fortunately, there are apps like that and in this video, we are going to talk about exactly the same. Welcome to the third video of this series where we are discussing about little tools and utilities that we can use in our virtual online classes to make them a bit more interesting. The three utilities that we will be discussing today are called KeyPress, KeyPress OSD and Mouse Track. So let us get started. I am picking up key press first of all. So the free version has a lot of limitations but uh, still I think it's a nicely presentable piece of software. So it sits there in the system tray. Now it has started. So let me just uh, do some activity. There you go. So I click left. It shows me it was a left click. You can even type text and it will uh, grab all the keystrokes here. So let's see. Yeah. Uh, where would it make sense in real life scenario? So let's say I'm opening up a terminal and in the terminal window I'm typing some commands. The font size is very small maybe. Uh, let's see. You see, you could still see what I was typing here, right? So ipconfig slash all enter. You can see all that I'm typing here. Now, one more good thing about this uh, KeyPress is that uh, it allows you to check all the paid features, the pro features, for seven minutes without any problem. So, let me switch to the pro version. And I'm doing so for one particular feature that I want to show you, which is called Visual Mouse. There you go. Now, you can see there is a little halo around my mouse pointer. You can see that yellow orange colored circle around my cursor and there is a visual mouse and if I click you can see it is highlighted not only on the pop-up but also on the little mouse icon which is right beneath the cursor. Right click is highlighted as well, middle clicks and all. That's all pointed in a nice way. Right, so that is uh, key press. Well, there are many more things you can do with uh, key press but I'm not going into details of that right now. So. That's how you can show your key presses on the screen and mouse actions on the screen as well. Next, let's pick up key press OSD. This one is with the correct spelling. All right, so the key press OSD has got a nice preset system available and you can choose from the presets. So let me do one thing. I'll go to quick start presets and I'll go to screencast and presentation mode apply. It detects the language of the keyboard that I've selected and you can see that uh, it's got the nice halo around my mouse pointer now. You can see the color is slightly different so it's not from the previous application, it is from the KeyPress OSD, the new one. So same purpose, just to highlight the mouse options, you click and right clicks are also being annotated on screen in real time and you can see we have a nice display of that, you can move it around with your mouse pointer. If you want, there are alternate positions, position A, position B as well. So in case if you, you know, are typing something and it is coming in the way, it can move automatically if needed. Uh, that option is also available. So that was uh, presentation mode. If I go to another mode here, typing mode only. If I apply this one, what happens? Let's see. 
what it will allow you to do is use it like a intelligent keyboard which can do conversions for example if I say aka and space it converts to also known as well all these uh, abbreviated formats you can store them you can update them you can customize you can make your own dictionary if you want so it's more like the smart keypads or keyboards that we use on mobile phones or touch devices that kind of functionality also you can get from the keypress OSD let's change the preset once again and this time I'm going to mixed mode well the mixed mode of course uh, gives you functionality of both presentation as well as typing mode at the same time okay so both the functions combined into one now let's change once again and this time I'm going to switch it to mouse only features if I apply that so the OSD features will be disabled and you get only nice animations when you do left clicks right clicks and you got a nice halo around the mouse pointer as well right so that is key press OSD so I believe this is much more feature packed in fact the free version itself has got a lot of features in this and there are very little restrictions that we have uh, compared to the previous app which is QI press or key press the other one now let's exit this one if you want a nice little application for same purpose and combined pack is all in one kind of features I would say then let's see the third one which is mouse track now in the free version of mouse track there is one restriction that is you cannot save the settings so every time you are going to relaunch this application the settings will revert back to the defaults so one thing which is problematic in this one I have already identified let me just fix that right in the beginning and that's it and then you can enable this control bar which is re really nice and handy and you can close the main interface after that so to bring up the main interface back up again you can click on the settings button this is a spotlight feature this is something similar to the halo effect that we were talking about so you see a nice circle around the mouse pointer so that's spotlight the other option which is selected by default here is the pointer option so when I click and right click you can see some nice circle expanding animations different colors indicating different clicks I can disable this by clicking on this icon so no more animations now so let's get rid of the halo for a moment the next option here is line draw tool and this is similar to the epic pen functionality we talked about in video number two so while this is selected you can draw annotate on your screen so nice uh, fully feature packed uh, application combines functionality of screen annotations click animations keystroke captures everything in one keystroke captures are enabled by this last one show keystrokes and then uh, whatever you're typing well I don't like the kind of interface that it shows it on but uh, yeah the feature is available there so let me just disable on screen keystrokes so that's mouse click highlighted and the last option here is the zoom tool you see that's what I was saying it's got all the features in one fully feature packed right so that's zooming functionality bring up the main interface again up and you can customize many things in the general interface you can also see that there are options to define shortcuts but as I said the settings are not saved so you have to do that every time you relaunch this application exit all right so those were the three utilities for today I hope you will find them useful stay tuned for more such videos on the channel geeky and tweaky that's the channel where we tweak our life for better.